Hey, everybody. You know, there are a lot of uh, Audacity tutorials out there, but, you know, sometimes there's always one little part that they might leave out that only pertains to you, maybe, or and it doesn't pertain to them. It's kind of going like, golly, you know, I need this part. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to go ahead and do this in real time so uh, everybody can get a chance to, to take the time that they need and get the right steps in to make this very, very easy for the next time you do this. So uh, I, I've been doing this quite frequently, finally catching up on uh, some albums that I needed to uh, get into MP3 form. And I'm going to show you how to, uh, to do that. Once you've uh, recorded it, and you can uh, export the multiple files, and we're going to label them. We're going to make it really, really simple. The less typing, the better, in my opinion. So, uh, so here we go. Let's uh, let's get started. So, if you have your file open on Audacity, I'm assuming that you already know how to. Uh, record the album so we're just going to go ahead and do the labeling part you know if you don't know how to record the album there's extra steps you know we can do another video for that if you if you need one or I think there's one on YouTube as well so let's go ahead and start with this one here so you've got your uh, your 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 wave file there okay so the next thing I do this is gonna be what I do uh, you may want to do a different way. Shortcuts may be different, but let's just try it this way here, okay? So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click there, and I'm going to highlight the file. And I'm going to go over to Effect, and I'm going to go to uh, Normalize. And all the presettings are there already that I use. You can see that uh, this, this is all the default settings. I decided just not, just if they're, there, by default, most of the time, they're going to be pretty much what you need. So I hit OK. So now it's going to go ahead and do that. And uh, while we wait, this particular album that I've got here is uh, it, from the mid-'80s. It's Warrior, and it's the album is uh, Fighting for the Earth. And let's see, that was in, uh, what, what year was that in? Uh, we just we just wait here, so we'll figure out what uh, what all that is. Where is my date here? Okay, I think it was like 89. I can make a full screen of it over here, see if it happens. Oh! 85, 1985, okay. So there we go. So we're almost, we've almost got this thing normalized. It usually takes a little bit of time for it to go. And, oh, so you've got a big jump there. But it's best to, to do this in real time. I'm not going to edit it. I just want to make it, I want to try to make it as simple as I can. So give it just a second here. Just a little silence in the background. While we're waiting also, uh, this particular uh, heavy power metal album featured uh, Rick Bennett on bass and keyboards, Liam Jason on drums, Joe Floyd on guitars. Joe Floyd. <laughs> I'm, fr I'm friends with him on Facebook. Can you imagine? Uh, Paramore McCarty on vocals and Tommy Asakawa on guitars. And we're about ready here to... We got it. Okay, so now we're all normalized. Everything has kind of evened itself out throughout the, uh, out the uh, LP there. So now you want to go ahead and label each of the songs. Okay, so what, uh, what I do here is I usually just, we'll just take it to the very beginning... And I will do Control B, which will get me a label track right there. And the first song is Fighting for the Earth. Okay. 
And the next one you want to go to, you want to find a spot, like right, maybe right in between the two songs, somewhere pretty close to the beginning of the second song. Uh, hit your cursor there. Hit uh, Control B again. We're looking at Only the Strong Survive. All right. Now we'll go to song number three. Which is right. Uh, it's right there. I might want to bring it up just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Control B as well. And that is Ruler. Okay. We'll go to the next song. And you just want to do this to all the songs you got. Just kind of get them right there in between. Control B once again. Mind over matter. Okay, there is no spell check here, so I've got to make sure that because uh, once you do this <laughs> and you send them, uh, if it's misspelled, it's going to be there unless you redo it. Okay, so the next one here. Tell you what, I'm going to. Let's. Bring it just there we go. Okay. Control B Defender of Creation. Ah, let's uh, fast forward here to the next one. Dun 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 dun. All right, here's the next one there. And that one is uh, Day of the Evil. Oops. Now see, that's... There you go. See, when you you punch a wrong button, it don't matter. You can get it all figured out and just... <laughs> hit the cursor there in your spot. Control B. Once again. Uh, let's see. Day of the Evil. Oops, I want to do that there. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Okay. See that I missed one here? Nope, that's right. We're good. Okay. So control B there. Cold fire. Next one. And this is just the same way you're going to do it. You're going to be thumbing through here, figuring out what's what. Okay. All right. There's our next one. Control B again. And this is PTM. And our last song is Welcome Aboard. So on down to that. All right, did I miss one? I couldn't have missed one. Let's see what I did. Let's see what I did here. See, that's why we do this like this, just in case I screw up. If I vent there, okay, that's good. Second one, only the strong. And 1025 will be the next one. Ruler 14 is mine over matter. And 17 is defender of creation. Going all the way to 23, right there, Day of the Evil. Okay, you just want to double check all the stuff you can. Um, let's see, Cold Fire. Oh, I see here. Okay, I, I should have had my glasses on. Should have? I should have. So uh, PTM is going to start there. And then let's just let's bring this up a little bit so we can see what's up in here. Here we go. Okay. And then 
The last song starts right there. That's Welcome Aboard. All right. There we go. Now, we've got, if we get this a little bit smaller. See, so we got all of our tracks labeled. And now what we want to do is we want to export them. But before we do that, let's uh, go over into um, Edit. And you want to go down to Metadata. And here's where you, it saves you a bunch of time here. Okay, you're going to want to go ahead and fill in the blanks, uh, which will repeat itself through all the tracks. Okay, so uh, we're going to go with Warrior here. And the title is Fighting for the Earth. Track number is good there. And I said it was 1985, so it's going to all do good there. And just punch OK. Now, let's get these things loaded. So we're going to go with uh, Export. Flip over there, and you're going to go down to Export Multiple. And then find a place where you want to put it. So I'm just going to go to my desktop and put it there. Okay. And I don't have a folder there for it yet. So let's just make a folder here real quick. New. You can put it under whatever folder you want to put it under. So I'm just going to go with Warrior. Okay. So you with me so far there? We're good. Now just click on that. Select folder. That's where it's going to go. Okay. So now you're going to... I have mine set on labels. Oh, let's go to the top here real quick. I'm, I'm doing mine down to MP3 file. Okay. You can do it to a wave. You can do it whatever, you, however you want to do it. You got lots of options there. Okay. But I'm just going to do mine to MP3. Uh, my preset... Uh, bitrate mode quality I have the insane <laughs> then that works for me uh, variable speed is going to go fast versus standard channel mode I have joint stereo and then the uh, split files based on the labels and uh, name files and I have the numbering before label track name etc there so uh, then I'm going to go ahead and punch uh, export and this is, this is going to come up here so what is really cool about going to the editing metadata is all you have to do is punch OK. You don't have to add or change anything. So each time I do that, everything stays the same except for the track title. Okay. Okay. And now, as you can see, it's exporting the audio with insane preset. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is this. You know, I saw this. Actually, actually, what I ended up doing was going to the Audacity forum and asking uh, the question there of how to um, not have to put it on each one of the songs. To re repeat the same stuff. I wanted it to be able to just click to the next one and everything was already there. And uh, I couldn't find a video on it, but fortunately there was a gentleman, Steve, on the site there that actually uh, helped me out. And real quickly, he said, go to the, you know, you go to the edit, go to the metadata, and there you go. And it has been a help ever since. And if it's helped me, I know it's going to help somebody else. So it just makes it really, really easy to do this. And you can walk away and get a get a cold beverage, or you can just sit here and watch the green lights move right along. It doesn't take very long. Because I'm going to show you what is at the end. And you can see, see kind of exactly how long the process normally takes for a... Um, how many songs were on there? Ten? No, nine. Nine songs. It's not not bad at all. So I don't have to keep yakking, but I'm just trying to fill fill space. There we go. Okay, then after that's completed, it'll successfully export the following nine files. Okay, so I punch OK. 
and we are set to go. So now you can uh, just just to be safe, okay? Just minimize it. Don't um, don't get rid of it. Okay. So now I see warrior on the bottom of my screen here. I'm gonna punch that, and there they are, right there. There are all my all my songs right here. And here's a, here's actually another cool little tidbit. I have a program here called MP3 Gain. Okay, so um, it keeps all my songs the same level. Okay, there may be just a minute little bit of difference, but I'll show you how that how I do that. Just as an extra little bonus. Okay, so here is what the MP3 Gain looks like. You you can download the download it. I'm using Windows 10. So um, you can either add the folder or add the file, or you can just go over here and highlight, click and drag it over to your deal. Okay, so there you go. That has all of them on there. So um, the track analysis, if you punch the track analysis, it's just going to tell you what, uh, where it's at track gain will change it. So I just skip this step and I go directly to this one and it just knocks them both out at the same time. So here we go. I have my volume uh, set at 95 for the uh, target normal volume for myself is 95. Default is 89, but I have it at 95. So as you can see, whether there's one a little bit, you know, it's a little short there or whatever, it's going to get it right to where it needs to be. And if it says clipping here, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to clip. It's just that it's, you know, it just, it just does what it does. It, and I've had no problems with it. So then I'll go ahead and uh, just, uh, you know, clear all for a fresh on the next one close out on that and uh that is it my friends so uh i hope you enjoy enjoyed this little tutorial for um let's pull that one back up there and there we go this is what now you can feel free to um exit out of this one save project before closing you don't have to do that since you got it already so um I'm going to punch no, and then that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or anything, just leave it in the comments. Thanks.